What time is it? It's Sumster Games. Now we're going to continue my Let's Play of Field of Glory Empires. And in this episode, I'm going to talk to you about the culture, decadence, legacy, and the state of your kingdom and how it works. So, first of all, let's talk about culture and decadence. Now we get culture from the buildings and from assigning people to the like culture slots, as we saw in the population. Then we can have decadence which uh, gets usually from buildings like there are often buildings that for example allow you to make money but cost you certain amount of decadence also nation sites and stuff like that affect the decadence then the game calculates the ratio and based on the ratio you get ranked among all the existing nations in the game now, if you're in the top third you get 35 percent chance to receive a progress token if you're in the bottom third you get 35 percent chance to receive an aging token now if you have enough progress tokens you can uh, move to a next uh, like uh, stage in your civilization but if you get too many of aging tokens you digress to the lower level of your civilization so what are the stages of the civilization we have uh, young stable glorious old and decadent and uh, we're currently stable so if we get an uh, enough progress tokens we're going to move to glorious but if you get too many aging tokens we're going to move to old then from old you can move to decadent uh, but if we get a progress token, we're going to move to Glorious, and then if we get enough progress tokens on the Glorious, we can move to the next level of civilization, which is Civilization Level 3, which is going to allow us to bet, like, get like a better nation sta status, which is going to give us better, you know, like like better modifiers for the game and stuff like that. You can see our entire nation traits on the, on the here, so we can, for example, see that we have a con commerce bonus of 10%, culture bonus of 15%, manpower bonus of 35%, loyalty bonus, and we can gather and sell slaves. We have decadence gain reduced by 5%, so decadence from conquest reduced by 50%. This is because of the of the special thing that he has as, as Macedonia. Leader force pool bonus plus 6, bonus of XP when a unit is created, and free unit support of 14, which is pretty great. Now next up we want to talk about legacy points. Now legacy points is how you win the game. Legacy points are the measure on which your success or failure will be judged at the end of the game. Even if your nation doesn't endure the test of time, you might win the game if you manage to gather a lot of LP. Which is legacy points. Correspondingly, it's possible to not achieve victory even with a large portion of the map under your control if you were only rampaging horde of uncultured barbarians. <laughs> so what do you get legacy points from? Well, firstly you get them from fulfilling your objectives. So now our leader actually wants us Cassandra to, to conquer this thing. So if we get that, it would like fulfill an objective. You can also get it from having high enough culture or from getting a lot of wonders and unique buildings or from having a high state of government type. All right, so now that we have done all the explanation, let's try to do some more gameplay. So as you can see here, it says, few can only win, but it seems you'll be lose, Cassandra. Where are your soldiers now? So Dardarni, they want to taunt us and we will show them that we are victorious. Now, one thing to watch out for is that when you're doing like the fight here, first of all, they get bonuses from the kind of areas that they have. So for example, if you're fighting on a forest, they get a certain bonus for that. So that's something to watch out for. And also, you want to make sure that your general is good at off offense because these numbers are kind of like additional dice rolls that the generals can give you. So these guys could, will not give us a single additional dice roll so that's pretty bad so we're gonna take aristodem instead yeah which means that if you're gonna get two extra dice rolls and we're gonna pick like the best dice roll that we can like i said we'll do more about the combat in a different episode but i want to make sure that another thing to kind of watch out for we do have 19 units but uh, depending on how kind of like the wide area where you are is not all of your units fight so sometimes it can actually be a good idea to have like uh, to have um like less units but stronger, so I would say. If you're wondering why this is now 94 and that 116, it's because I changed the general so the experience level is get, getting lowered. Now we're gonna send our people to assault them over there. And I'm thinking about grabbing, yeah, we have some skirmishers here, but I want a better unit. I want something strong, like uh, heavy infantry, maybe? It's gonna take a couple turns to get it though. Let's try to get a bit of that so we can kind of join it with the skirmishers and then send them to maybe do like fighting over here. Or I could grab this guy, but it's only six units and these guys are seven units. Yeah, I don't know. You could also send these guys to fight this area, but this will defend with eight units. So I don't think we're gonna be strong enough to beat it. Uh, and it's also like um, mountains. 
they would get some high bonuses from the range. But in the meantime, let me just give a general to this. We're gonna go with for care halls. And um I think I'll move them like a step this way. Yeah, this all seems to have enough food, so that's good. So we'll move over there. You also want to make sure that this area we just conquered it has a penalty on food and essentially everything else. So I want to make sure that I'm still getting food so that A I can supply to my army. Or B, uh, I generally like, if, if you don't have food, like, there's gonna be bad stuff happening in the area, so you don't want that. So I wanna make sure I'm getting more food. Also, this green thing means that we have finished what, whatever we were building there, and we, were, we can probably build more, so let's check it out. Yeah, here we're getting, we could build a lot more stuff here. What, oh, flax field. I already have it elsewhere, though. Sanitation. Yeah, this gives us healthcare. Healthcare is actually pretty good, because it can increase your manpower. Uh, by the way, you can click on this kind of info thing and we can read about healthcare. Healthcare bonus provide a health bonus to the region, leading to a reduction to how much food you need before a new population point is created. As such, they are best used in regions with high population base, although they also protect the region from plagues and disease. Higher tier buildings in this category have other advantages such as healing you your damaged units faster or helping you resist in case of a siege. Yeah, so let's, let's get that. I like it. Fake sanitation. Go. And in this area, we could get, um, what do we get here? Salt mine produces salt. Yeah, we don't seem to have salt from anywhere, so let's get that. And I think we'll let's grab some of the people and send them, actually let's send them towards culture. Because uh, let's check this, yeah, we seem to be doing okay for now, but we want to make sure that we don't fall too down with the culture decadence ratio. And what is happening right here? We go to one slave after battle in dental tie. So here we could, we could build more stuff as well. What could we get? A salt mine as well. Salt house, which needs salts, which we're gonna get soon. And it's gonna give us health bonus. Yeah, let's do that. We're gonna grab a couple of these people and send them here. So we're gonna get this done in four turns. Yeah, that seems pretty good. We're making a lot of money per turn, some manpower, and we're gonna hope that these guys can can beat them. We, we should like they have a combat power of two, but sometimes this sort of like a benefit of the area can make a big difference. So even though we should be able to decimate, the question is like how much they're gonna hurt us in the battle. Because if we get hurt too much, it could be bad for us. We have 19 units, they have seven units. Our combat power is 70. There is 17. Let's just look at the report. Yeah, we won easily, that's good. And we didn't get hurt at all. Yeah, but you can see we're already down to 64 from where we were before. So that's something to kind of keep an eye on because we want to make sure we don't get hurt too much. Now we are at the culture and economics rating, we're 32nd, and in the legacy rating, we're 15. So this is okay, but I would like to be above 26th place so I could get like chance to have like progression tokens. Something to look for. Okay, we're back to 89 now. Okay, good, good, good. Now, uh, like, the, the question here is this. Do we going to fight these guys to get rid of this small army, or do we try to go at these guys and decimate them while we can? I think we might just go at the small guys first. Yeah, there's a lot of available food there, so let's try to assault that. Also got in this new area, we're going to, as usual, make sure that we're getting some food. Yeah, we actually won't be able to get food, which is a bit of a problem because it's raided. That's not gonna be uh could we try to build like a thing? It's gonna take too long, isn't it? Yeah, 28 no. So just gonna send all of the people to try to get some food. This is a problem because we want to have supplies for our units. Alternatively, I could grab the army and send it over here. Beat the independence. Not sure if it's gonna no no no, let's, let's just go straight through there. We'll try this out. And then I'm thinking let's grab this unit and send them up here towards Illyria. Uh, so towards the dental time. And maybe so should these guys. Try to tell them to kind of like merge there or something. This is enough food. Yeah, plenty. That's good. That's good. And what have we done? We have finished the furnace right here so we can build something new. I like to build here though. Orchard, we could make. We would get bonus 15 food per turn. It's not bad. 
Public works extra infrastructure armor. What does this do? Bonus of eight equipment from iron and flax, which we both have. Needs a ladder, but I can pay for that. Getting a lot of equipment. I think we gotta go for this. Yes, please. Absolutely. That is amazing. That is so good. Uh, do we want to get some more people? I'm kind of trying to like, uh, not not people. Do we want to get some more um, units? The thing is, I don't want my manpower to be like lower too much, but also kind of want to have like additional units if these guys need them. You could also stay in place, like garrison, and attack them next turn. Let our people sort of rest a bit. That could work too. That's. Now let's let's do one more fighting we can rest after, I think. But we'll try this like that. We'll go at them. Oh see, they're attacking me. I don't think I'm gonna win. These skirmishes are gonna die, so they will take over this province. But we should be able to destroy them with the rest of our units after. It's actually not bad. Because since they're leaving, we do get some bonuses from the defense. So that could be good. We only have skirmishes though, so we're definitely gonna lose this battle, but it's still gonna be good. For, but first, this fight. Yeah, we just dis decimated them. They're gonna decimate us though, right here. Are they not attacking? Why are you not attacking? Come on. What, what did they just moved in and didn't do anything? Did they try to see trading or something? They're gonna tell me seeking cooperation treaty. Absolutely, yes, please. In. I told you as well, they just want to be friends. Everyone who wants to be... It's a great victory, so we've gotten 18 money from taking over this province. Gotten this... Um, yeah, they, they took my area. I don't understand. One thing I'm not quite sure, though, is why they didn't, uh, they didn't fight me. That's a bit strange. Oh, they're trying to siege me. Okay, so we're being besieged. Which means that uh, they're trying to kind of starve us down, which is actually pretty smart. But uh, I'm going to take my big army and turn it to assault this area down here. And then we have this army. We want to take our eight uh, infantry, merge them with our other army, which is uh, this one. 32. Yeah, go in there and garrison. We want to get like we want to just help our other people out. How are we doing on the on the siege level here, by the way? What do they have? They have skirmishers, some infantry skirmishers. Yeah, we can't fight them right now. We can't like do anything. We can't assault them. Oh, I would like to know like what kind of level of siege do I have? Unbreached walls, one of one. Attacker six, defender four. What kind of general do I have here? Are you reasonably good at defending? You have one, that's okay. So we'll just let him go in and we'll see what they do. If they try to attack or not. Because they can probably destroy the walls very soon. I don't know if my army can get like fast enough. We'll see, we'll see. But I'd like to get the defense bonus. That would be really nice. And you guys need to just go and assault. Go to armies. You guys, just go and assault this thing. Why don't you do assault it? In you go. Oh, and we got raided here. No, 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 we didn't. We, we got a slave from uh, somewhere and we saw an invasion by Ayatollah. The local forces crushed the invaders. Okay. And these guys... Thessalia was raided by Ayatollah and these interlopers were suddenly defeated. The thing is, I don't know why, why they can raid you even though we're not enemies. Oh, they're still asking for cooperation. We haven't actually agreed yet. Okay, well, agree. Did you then stop raiding my stuff? How dare you? But we beat them down, so it's actually pretty cool. Uh, do we want to get some more units? That's my question. They're already waiting for more units. Building something? You want to do that or not? Nah, I'm pretty okay with what we have. So let's just see how the fights here will keep going. Because we should be able to decimate these small guys, but these guys that are besieging me, I don't know. Yeah, so we can win this, yeah, in two seconds. This on the other hand, okay. So they are hitting, they have 11 units. They're, oh, and actually they're considered defending because they took over that. Oh, that ba that's bad. I think we're going to lose this one because they have like extra defense. Yeah, we're definitely losing this one. Totally. 
I was hoping we could get there so we could get that bonus, but we just can't. So it's, yeah, it's not the greatest. We lost that. Okay. Well, it's okay. We can try to, we can try to besiege them, maybe. We'll probably have to fight their army out in the open, though, unless they garrison in. Siege of Ulpiana in Detail Italian Mechanism over and Dardani stands victorious. Yep. That is not the greatest. Now, you guys, you need to merge with them. And now I'm going to give you a new general. Let's give you, like, a defensive general. Because we have, like, nothing here. And we're going to grab our Macedonian army. We're gonna, just going to straight up an assault. Let's just try this thing. Go. We'll go ahead and try to get that. We could send these guys in as well. Question is, will they get there at the same time? Good try. Yeah, losing this army is not a big deal to me. If I lose the seven of them, we'll just hope that they can attack at the same time. You guys are attacking, right? Assaulting, yeah. I want you to assault, not just stand there. Then here we can get some more stuff, so let's try to build uh, something like clear water. Yeah, let's keep getting some bonuses, like getting better food and stuff. And here, the salt mine has been completed. Good, we can't build anything more, so we'll move from our people from infrastructure to food. And this... Uh, oh, we got plundered a bit. Nice. So you know what, maybe instead of moving our units there, let's move them here. So we can like protect our, uh, our you know, our areas essentially. Yeah, we've been, we've been weakened by lack of supplies, that's understandable. Okay, don't, oh, my general has been killed in the invasion. But we got a new one, which is okay. Now they want us to take over Byzantine, I don't know if we can do that, but we'll see. I, I wonder if I can kill these guys, because the bonuses they'll have are not the greatest. But you can see it says 127, so we think that of course they're gonna win, but we might not. No, they keep going and attacking my people, just stay there. Yeah, we were okay, we, we destroyed them. No, we're gonna lose this one. We do get the bonus with the defensive general, but we have like one unit against their 10, we're dead. Yeah, we're dead. Oh no, but they're sieging this? Okay. We gotta take it down. We gotta send somebody there to, to, to fight because <laughs> we have no one there. Okay, you go and kill this army. Yeah, target, target the army, just go at them. You... You, I'm not quite sure what to do with you. Go there and garrison. So we can like hide inside the city, that'll be good. Okay, we got raided by Tarsi and the defenders got crashed. Pillaging and plunder followed. No! Seem to need to be able to have a lot of units like around the border, which is kind of irritating because I want to go and fight. But it's also like understandable. Do we have any cool decisions to make? No, nothing we can do right now. As for the thing, we are falling in the deck, in the culture decadence, but it should be okay once we get that. Now, how are we doing here? I'm gonna get some more food. Good. Just two more turns of being conquered. You guys have one more turn, then we're gonna get a lot of food, which is good. Yeah, these guys are not doing well because we just got we conquered that. This one, yeah, also need more food. This is gonna be a problem. Because we just conquered it again, so we're losing that area a little bit. But it should be okay. Be fine. Okay. So we are, yeah, we should destroy them. We have 125 combat power, they only have 31. Yeah, we killed everyone they had. Okay, and we have wiped their darny off the map. It seems. Finally! And we gotta take some smaller units and make sure that the other people just stop raiding us. Like, even our allies are supposed to be at all, are supposed to be super nice. Like, they're raiding us. Like, how dare you? No King Dubis Castles Belly Akaia has declared a war on Macedonia. That's you. Well, I do have the objective to take that down. 
I guess that's fine. Cassandra, the culture of a nation is much too humble for a grandiose scheme. Macedonia civilization is regressing. Aging tier reached. That's okay. That's fine. We got some decisions. We need to check that out in a minute. But we got new population. That's good. Uh, besieging Pella and Macedonia, Dardanelle inflicted a lot of casualties against the defender. Dotia and Macedonia was raided by Atoli and the interlopers were soundly defeated. Good. They were raided by Tarsus and the inter interlopers were defeated. That's very good. Now let me grab my smaller army and you guys just move... You guys just move there to protect the area. Now my big guys... Do we have enough food? Move to here because then we're going to have to try to fight a a Akaia because they attacked me so I can do that. Just go straight up at this thing. We'll see how that will go. And uh, let me check, like, these are you guys still just raided? Yes. But you, you too, you are not considered raided anymore. So let's take a couple of people, move them into infrastructure, and we'll try to build a stat thing. Something that makes food. No, this makes uh, more food, actually, and, and health as well. So we'll do that. These guys are still considered uh, just conquered, so we're not going to do anything there. Yeah, I just want my men to kind of stand around to protect themselves against being raided. Maybe it'd actually be better if they just stood here. That way they can go both like, you know, the ish protecting the area around it. I need a couple more units over there, but for that we need to get enough food there first. Which is pretty important. Also, we should try to get a bit more units. Can I get something good like phalanx? One next turn. Another one, three turns. And should I? I should be able to build some more buildings, aren't I? Herbalist, health and manpower, or 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 orientation tribune. Bonus five culture from. Yeah, we need culture. That's that's important. Yeah, we get a lot of food, so let me grab these people and move them to to culture because we really don't need that much food. We're still making food, even though we. We uh, don't have anybody there, so we're going to do that. Oh, I want to be building something. Let's get a palace out. Get a bit of a protection. That seems like a good idea. You guys are not building anything either. and So let's move some people in infrastructure and give me... Ranch, maybe? Let's do salt house. Again, It uh, we can get the salt. That's not a problem. And we can get some extra health. You guys, you guys need some food stuff. No, but I don't want to do anything. You're just conquered. You're fine. Armor we're getting on. And you guys. You could use some good stuff. Let's do a palace out here. Because these guys might decide to attack me. So I'd like some extra protection. That'd be pretty nice. And then we're going to need to also grab some people from here. Move them to culture maybe. We get plus 11 food per turn. That should be enough. Because with this. Yeah. We're going to fall a bit here. We can get those aging ter aging tokens, which is not the greatest. But we should be okay, fairly. We've conquered their dynasty, which is what I wanted. So I think uh, we are going to end the episode of the next turn. So let's, let's, let's move towards the next turn and see if we can get that aging token or not. I don't really want to, but I might. Ooh, they're hitting me here, aren't they? Or they're trying to, to uh, beseech me, probably. That's going to be interesting, actually. Okay, so we have 41, so we moved 15 places up, which is very nice. And let's see what these guys are doing here. Yeah, getting this area is going to be really good. Yeah, they're trying to... Palisade has been completed. Okay, so we just finished the Palisade and then they raided it. Which is funny. Uh, okay, but we've got these enemies. You guys, this is like my own thing. My army. I don't have a general. I need a defensive general. Oh, I can only get a pillow. Who gets defensive penalty in forested, rough, or mountain terrains. That's So uh, this is a hill, so that's fine. It's better than nothing. You could assault or merge. There's nothing to merge with. I guess we'll do that. And my big army. I would like you to target their army. Yeah, just go, go and kill their army. That's what I want you to do. Just straight up go and kill them. We should be able to do that. Hopefully. 
But I think we're gonna do more of that in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. Click on the right top to watch the next one or click on the right bottom to watch Evil Bank Manager where we try to take over the world with money. I'll see you there. Bye bye.